all right guys so in today's video we're gonna be talking about catching the next bonk coin making those millions and making the best out of this upcoming bull market as it is gonna be probably guys the biggest bull market we've ever experienced with the spot bitcoin etf possibly it's gonna get approved and we're gonna see a flood of capital coming from those big banks billions if not trillions coming into the crypto space and we can all catch some of that capital coming into the crypto space if we do play our cards right and this is what this video is gonna be about guys this is probably gonna be a very important video now i know guys a lot of you are looking for price predictions for bond coin and where we can see bond coin in the future but the most important here guys and what we are all here for in this crypto space is to make money and this is what this video is gonna be about here guys so if you are really serious about making some serious gains in the crypto space guys i'll advise you to watch this video carefully and hopefully you will learn a few things that are gonna help you tremendously navigating that bull market that we are approaching so with no further ado here guys let's get into the video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new so here guys as we've seen recently bond coin pulling over a hundred x from the lows and this is basically how the money is made in the crypto space now all these people that you see bragging online on these crypto millionaires most of them made money by catching that one home run by catching that bond coin by catching that pepe coin or by catching that dogecoin or shiba inu and that's how most people make money in this crypto space guys and it all comes down to basically getting lucky and finding that big home run that's gonna make most of the gains in the bull market or forcing your luck now we are all gonna be here in the business of trying to force our luck now in the crypto space there is no free meal now a lot of people join the crypto space in hopes that they're gonna get lucky or they're just trying to gamble and make some money hopefully that could work but here guys we're trying to get the odds as much in our favor as possible and if you are serious about making money in the crypto space here guys you want to take the crypto space seriously especially going into 2024 and 2025 now with no doubt guys if the bitcoin etf gets approved we're gonna see a huge run we could possibly see bitcoin running towards that five trillion dollars market cap if not 10 going into the future maybe in a, in a span of five years or six years we're gonna see a lot of money flowing into the crypto space and this means guys a lot of these altcoins a lot of these meme coins or altcoins they are gonna benefit immensely from that capital and this possibly gonna be a one in a lifetime opportunity that is why guys it's really important to take this stuff seriously right now and there is no free meal as i said in the crypto space you do want to from now on spend a lot of time learning about cryptocurrencies as much as possible doing your research and understanding and by the fact that you're watching this video here today that's also a step forward towards learning as much as possible in the crypto space and I just advise you to really take this seriously now I'm gonna share with you here some tips and as well some coins in today's video that's hopefully you guys can learn from and hopefully it helps some of you now as I said the most important here guys now to know is most people that made millions in the crypto space they just caught some massive run like this one here now this whole started with bitcoin of course with people that joined in in 2010 2009 the first crypto adopters and since then every new coin on every altcoin or meme coin or whatnot they all are trying to be the next bitcoin or the next eat or the next xrp or whatever so you can see that in each bull market we had those runners that just caught this narrative of being the next big thing in the crypto space so it all starts from that now in 2017 we've seen xrp we've seen litecoin we've seen some of those fundamental coins then in 2020 we've seen that dogecoin shiba inu we did see as well some of those fundamental coins pulling in 100 x's 200 x's but from all these few coins that we've seen pulling 100 x there are thousands of coins that went to zero now from those few crypto millionaires that you see made it in the crypto space there are thousands that lost their money and never made it so it is very important to understand that there are only few coins that are gonna make it and you're gonna have to find those coins it is very important to understand this fact guys because i see a lot of people always jumping from coin to coin to the next big coin to the next shiny coin maybe this coin maybe the other coin maybe this coin but it is very important guys to now that we're going into that bull market to stop jumping from coin to coin and 
just find that those topics and i personally advise to have maybe five maybe ten coins at best that you are focusing on and you want to change those that are not really performing well and try to find one to replace them you want to limit the losses and try to catch those early early coins like with bone coin here and that is very important to understand as well now that many of these coins here guys are gonna go to zero many of them are not gonna be worth much not only meme coins but most of the other altcoins and it all comes down to those coins that are gonna make it to the top 10 coins by market cap the coins that are gonna make it above 50 billion dollars market cap now you want to always ask yourself when you're looking at some coin does this coin has potential of reaching that at least one to two billion dollars market cap now at this moment at this stage of the market of the cycle does any of these coins have a potential of reaching a 1 billion if not 10 billion or 50 billion now it is very important to understand that and when it comes to those meme coins when you are going looking for those meme coins that are low market caps you want to understand or you want to at least ask yourself do these coins have potential of pulling that 1 billion and to put it simply here guys now the most important here to understand about any coin about any coin it doesn't matter if they are solving the world's hunger or they are promising to be the next bitcoin the next shiba inu or they are promising to defeat banks and be this massive decentralized currency it doesn't matter what they say now what we all care about here guys is the price because we are here to make money and all what we care about is the price will the price go up or not so what actually drives the price higher now like any product guys cryptocurrencies are a simple product and the more eyes are on some coin the more people are gonna buy it now just ask yourself why did you buy bone coin let's say now most people bought bone coin at the highs and why is that now the reason why a lot of people bought bone coin at the highs is that because a lot of people were talking about bone coin at the highs and that simply means it's a marketing game going on here if a coin is being talked about and it has a, let's say you go to their twitter page and they have a lot of followers you see people talking about this coin over and over and over and their market cap is pretty low and you still see a lot of people talking about it this is usually a good sign because the first thing that really matters with any coin is that it has a good marketing going on for it it all comes down to that guys if a coin is being known if people are talking about some coin that's one of the most important things when it comes to cryptocurrencies is it doesn't matter what they are doing if nobody knows them the price will not bump the price will not go up nothing will happen with the coins if nobody is talking about these coins they will never pump if everyone is talking about this coins they will pump now the crypto space works more like some sort of an mlm or like a ponzi scheme you can say now the more people buy a coin and talk about the coin and it goes up the more people get onboarded and all these people are voices in the space let's say for bone coin now the more people are holding bone coin the more people are gonna be talking about bone coin you're gonna go to that comment section and you're gonna see bone coin bone coin to the moon you're gonna go to twitter spaces you you're gonna to go to twitter you're gonna see bone coin bone coin to the moon and that all means especially that you are still early in the bull market if people are still talking about some coin once the new people are gonna come once the retail are gonna come once we're gonna to see the news talking about cryptocurrencies and we're gonna see those people that don't care about crypto really now coming to the space they are gonna be coming and, and gonna be searching around and the coins that are ranking first when it comes to that marketing and when it comes to that community people are talking about these coins are the coins that are gonna pump first usually those are the coins that are gonna pump because simply they get brought to other people's attention now if some random coin exists but possibly is the biggest project ever in the crypto space but nobody is talking about it it has very low chances of ever being picked up by the bull market the bull market basically consists of mania and hype and basically those are the things that drive the price and if there is none of that around any of the coins that you are holding or that you, that you are looking at the possibility of them even pumping in the bull market is very low and they could never even pump and that is why guys if you've been following me you remember when we seen bone coin at the highs i told you guys now you want to chill you don't want to buy any new meme coins you want to wait for the hype to die off and 
and then you want to see which coins stays strong even after the crash which communities stayed strong which coins people still talk about even if they are down 40 percent let's say coq inu down 40 percent and people still talking about it which coins people do talk about often those are the coins that have the highest chances guys now it all comes down to that and once you understand this it's gonna make everything else way easier now there is the narrative now the narrative is with bone coin it was on that solana chain it was the top meme coin on solana chain and it started pumping out of nowhere now i do think that the main reason it started pumping is that solana blockchain they wanted that to happen they pumped it they took some of them millions they got and they started buying that bone coin and creating hype just to bring adoption to that solana chain because it was basically dead after that ftx collapse but this did create a new narrative and since then we've seen coq on avalanche pumping and then we've seen snake as well on that cardano chain and then we've seen other coins like toshi now is most po possibly the most undervalued but it is a meme coin on that coinbase chain and it is personally one of my favorites now we've seen this new narrative popping off and the thing here guys is you want to see if people are still talking about these coins even though they are dropping so that's very important as well to be looking at now as i said these whole coins like toshi lady snake coq people are still talking about them even though we're seeing now a some sort of a cool off going on now that's as well very important now back to the narrative as well there is one thing that we noticed as well is when a coin is listed on major exchanges that gives it a very very big edge as it lowers the risk as now we know they are on exchanges and the likelihood of them being a rock pool really gets lower and especially right now guys there is no need to be risking your capital on chain and buying coins that are not listed on exchanges because most of the coins that are already on exchanges right now have low market caps they haven't even started pumping and those have the highest chances to being picked up in the bull market as the exchanges are very simple to most people most retail are just gonna download an app and sign up and start buying it's pretty simple now no meta mask and seed phrases and whatnot it's pretty simple to most people to buy to buy coins on exchanges and that also is important something you want to be looking at when you want to see those coins now you have those high conviction coins let's say you find some high conviction coin like maybe toshi you think it's the coinbase chain is gonna be the future in the bull market and this possibly could be that next bonk or could pull up some huge gains then you may want to hold on to it even you see it doing 10x 20x 30x's you want to hold on to it no matter what until really that blow off top bull market when you see some crazy predictions happening and usually it's gonna happen end of year or early next year and that's when you want to be thinking about selling you want you got these two you want to also limit the risk as I said as soon as if you have some coin that you are not so sure about as soon as you are in profits you want to withdraw those gains or you want to get out those initial investments so you can be again on the lookout for the next one and as I said guys there aren't so many coins that gonna pull the next bond coin we're possibly gonna see four or five with that in mind you want to really find those you don't want to invest easily you don't want to throw your capital that easily on any coin that you see so you want to be really careful you don't have so many chances here we do have only four or five that could make it and we have thousands and thousands of coins so please be careful here guys and only try to find those that have the highest chances and just keep your portfolio allocated to just a few coins and that's about it here guys now when it comes to the my personal opinion here guys what i think now now if you are holding bond coin and paper coin floki those possibly are gonna see some gains in the future now they're all gonna see possibly gains the the coins that are famous the famous coins those coin shiba inu bond coin paper coin floki those people possibly are gonna be buying now as i said the point is not really to make some gains but to make millions so i would say that me meme coin here has a very strong case going on for it here meme, meme coin which is a binance launched meme coin that as well have some sort of a metaverse game so meme coin here i think is sitting pretty comfortably here being backed by binance which is very huge now we do have that coq you know as i said i top meme coin on that avalanche chain and recently it got listed on bybit which is as well a strong case here for coq you know we do have snack we still need to see how it's gonna perform but it's right now on the top of that cardano chain so if you see that ada cardano pumping you want to be looking at snake maybe for some quick gains 
and when it comes to if it's gonna pull that 100x now it all depends of cardano if you think cardano is the next biggest blockchain ever then snake is gonna be that guy now if you think as well avalanche is that next big blockchain ever then possibly coq is that guy and you do have toshi which possibly in my opinion has the strongest case because it's on that coinbase chain and coinbase here now is the exchange that's gonna be used by those big banks to buy bitcoin and to have bitcoin custody and whatnot and this means coinbase is gonna be a big exchange or possibly the biggest exchange and that really puts toshi at a really 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 nice spot so in my humble opinion and nothing is financial advice i do think toshi is pretty much one of these low cap gems now we do have kishu we do have ai doge as i told you arbitrum if you see arbitrum pumping then you want to be looking at ai doge for some quick gains and possibly maybe some 10 20 x's of the short term as soon as arbitrum starts pumping same thing goes with snake as i said and coq now we do have as well vita inu which is as well on that bybit exchange only 13 a million dollars market cap now if you see a meme coin season possibly these gonna bring in some huge gains is it gonna be the next bone coin it's pretty hard to guess here knowing that we do have toshi and other meme coins that are top of their blockchains but just the fact that it is a low market cap and it's on that bybit exchange and as soon as we're gonna see as soon as we are gonna see a meme coin season it's possibly gonna benefit from it and we're possibly gonna pull at least 10x from these lows here standing at 13 million dollars market cap so it could go to 200 300 maybe in the bull market which is not bad this is a 10 20 x's so it all goes like that guys we do have akita as well listed on exchanges 10 million dollars market cap and it goes on now the thing here as i said guys knowing those things if you want to be a meme coin expert and make some gains from meme coins you just want to know that the narrative right now is into blockchain and meme coins on blockchains now if avalanche starts pumping you want to look into coq if cardano starts pumping you want to look into snake now we do have ladies on that bybit exchange so this usually ladies pumps when we see the next bone coin so ladies pumped when bone coin pumped each time and also ladies pumped when pepe coin pumped so basically this is like a a beta play to the next bone coin so if we see the next coin the next bone coin pumping you want to expect ladies and vinu vita inu to be pumping following so you you can if even if you miss those next bone coin you could still catch some of that gains going into ladies and vita in we've seen those rats on ordinals this could be pretty big as well we didn't see as well grok this as well could pre be pretty big and we've seen recently kimbo on that avalanche chain as well but as i said if let's say ordinal starts pumping you want to be looking at rats if it starts pumping and we see as well the hype going on to eat and meme coins you want to be looking at grok and it goes on now we could still do that rotation thing where you just do that and as well you want to hold some for that big run for that big bull market so i hope this whole being helpful here guys and the final thing here guys is to really keep doing your research keep learning as much as possible in the crypto space as we are possibly heading to the biggest bull market you can as well join my discord link in the description if you have any more questions i do as well share my day trades there and all that you can leave your questions as well on the comment section for those asking in the comment section where they can buy these coins you can check out either bing x or l bank i will leave you the link in the description you don't need no kyc for that to join these exchanges and as usual guys nothing is financial advice and i want to thank you so much for hanging around here and i want to see you on the next video cheers